guys, I'm Dave from Zach Cry Music, and today what we're going to look at is how to connect different modes all together into one big scale across the entire fretboard. Now this is really helpful for if you're improvising, trying to create some solos, write some music, and it's also really helpful if you're just trying to learn a solo or learn a song. It helps you really kind of see where it all comes from, learn it faster, and also remember it better. So we're going to take a look at um, the different modes in the key of G major. Now, the first one I'm going to look at is just a regular G major scale. Um, so if you know how this goes, uh, this part will be really easy. It, uh, it goes like this here. You're going to use your second finger on the sixth string. This is a major scale form. Fourth finger, one, two, four. So when I say one, two, four, first finger, second finger, fourth. And now one, three, four, one, three, four, two, four, one, two. You can also hit a higher note right up here with your fourth finger if you want. So it's like this. That's our first form. And now this is, if you're calling this a mode, the name of this mode is Ionian mode. It's also the same as our major scale. Um, before we had the names major scale, minor scale, there's all these different modes um, that the music was based off of. And, and now the most common ones we hear today are major and minor, that's why we name those differently. But it used to just be all these different modes, and so this was called Ionian. Um, the next scale is called Dorian, and it looks like this here. You're going to go up two more frets above your major scale, and you're going to go one, three, four, one, three. Now you're going to have to shift down a fret, go one, two, four, one, two, four, shift back up, one, three, four, one, three. So it looks like this. This is our Dorian scale. Now let's freeze there just for a second and talk about connecting these two different modes. Um, now there's lots of things you can do to practice connecting these, um, but one of the things that I like to tell all my students is, is to do it like this here. We're going to start on our major scale and we're going to go shift up from this major scale and we're actually going to shift up into this Dorian scale. And we're going to do that right on the sixth string. So right away we're just going to go like this. I'm in my major scale and now I'm shifting up to Dorian. Now I'm in Dorian. This is my Dorian scale. And I'm going to come back down on the first string. So I'm in Dorian. Now I'm back down to this major scale. See how I did that? I was in major, like just this one, but I'm shifting up right here. Now I'm in my Dorian scale. And here, instead of keep going out like this, I'm shifting back down into my major scale, like this. Um, so you can follow this pattern, and now the next thing you do is, okay, now I'm going to shift up on the fifth string. So I'm going to play this, and now I'm going to shift up. Now I'm in Dorian, and down on the second string. See this pattern here? So the next thing I do, up on the fourth string, down on the third string, and keep doing that until I'm going up on the first string, right here, and not going down until the sixth string. Then you're going to do all these different switches. Um, and you can do this between each of these modes here. So that's one exercise you can do in between each mode. So, so far we've only done the Ionian, the major scale, and the Dorian scale. But now let me add the next one here. The next one is called Phrygian, um, and it looks like this. It's um, going to be another two frets higher from where I started my Dorian right up here is Phrygian, so in this case, in key of G major, we are on the 3, 5, seventh fret here. Um, so, it's going to go like this, 1, 2, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4. And if I wanted to connect that to the Dorian, I can do that same sort of exercise. I can go start by going up on the 6th string like this and down on the first string. So let's try this without a pause here. It's going to go like this. Perfect, perfect. Um, so, 
you can practice this same sort of deal between each one of these scales. And now that we have a third one in the mix, we can actually start to look at um, connecting all three of these. And so here you can just kind of make up some sort of patterns on your own here. So let's say, how about we shift from the major scale up to the Dorian scale on the fifth string. So we're right here, nice easy switch. And then I'm gonna shift up again right here on the third string. So let's just try doing that, and then we'll talk about going down. So we're going to go up on the fifth string, we said, like this, up again on the third string. Now how about we go down on the first, down on the third again, like that. And you can kind of just make up some of those as you go along here. The next scale we're going to take a look at, or the next mode we're going to take a look at, is um, the Mixolydian scale. Um, and that's going to be right up here in the key of G major, it's going to be based off of a D. And so we're all the way up here on the 10th fret. Now we did skip one mode called uh, Lydian. This is Mixolydian. We skip Lydian because it's the same as Phrygian, but you're going to have, um, you're going to play right here, but you're going to start on your second finger instead. So it's exactly the same position here. Just if you want to be Lydian, it's going to start on this note rather than this note. So the same form we did before. So we're going to skip ahead and do Mixolydian here. So we're going to start up here and it's going to be like this. 2, 4, 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 again, 1, 3, 4, shift up a fret, 1, 3, 4, stay shifted up here, 1, 3, and then back down, 3, 1, 4, 3, 1, shift down, Four three one four two one four two one four two. That's our Mixolydian scale there. And so now you can do the same thing and connect it with all those other scales in the same way we just did um, with with the other previous ones. Like say when we did the major, the Ionian scale to the Dorian. You can do that same sort of pattern to connect this in here. Plus now we've got four scales in the mix, so you can make up some patterns um, to connect all four of those as well. After that. We've actually uh, um, almost to the end here. The next scale, or the next mode, is going to be based off of um, this E, this high E up here in this key. And this is called Aeolian. This is what we um, today call a minor scale. Just like Ionian, we call major now. Aeolian is another really common mode that we hear today, and so we call it the minor scale. So you might know this one as well. Um, it's also, you know, if you know the pentatonic scale, this minor pentatonic scale, this is where that pentatonic scale comes from. So it looks like this. We're up here on the 12th fret in this key, and uh, you're going to go 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3. And now here's where we have a choice. You can either go 1, 3, 4, but stretch an extra fret. Do you see what I'm doing? I got my third finger here, and I'm actually reaching two frets higher with my fourth finger to play this note. So you can either go like that, and it's going to look like this 1, 3 on the next string. Or you can do a shift, which is normally what I do. I would normally go like this. On the fourth string, one, three, and then shift down. On the third string, I'm going to go one, two, four, a fret lower. Then I'm going to shift back up, one, two, four again, and one, three, four. So it's a little bit complicated. Let me do that part again. So what I do is this one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, shift down, one, two, four, shift back up, one, two, four, one, three, four. You can also do this. One three four one three four one three four. Where I'm stretching. Do you hear that note? And then I'm going half step higher. This note without shifting on the third string. One three one two three one three four. And it's really good to know how to do both because when I'm up in these high frets, it's not really hard to shift or to uh, reach that extra note because the frets are smaller. But say if I'm down here. Say I was playing a G minor scale or a G Aeolian scale, same thing. It's a lot more to stretch there. You see that? Because the frets are so much bigger. So down here, I would definitely shift rather than stretch. So it's good to know how to do both. But on that side note, let's go back up to where we're at here. So this is our Aeolian school, scale. Um, or, or our mode, Aeolian mode, and um, this is actually the last mode to learn because now we've already got our Ionian mode down here, this major scale, right? Our 
Dorian mode right here. Right? And then next is our Phrygian. If we want to do Lydian, it would just start on this note. Right? Mixolydian's next right here. And then Aeolian's right here. Right? Now, if we wanted to go any higher, we're actually right back to where we started. Um, with this same form here, this major scale Ionian mode form, is the next one in line. So, we've actually gone all the way from here, third fret, really we got a little bit of the second fret here, um, all the way up to here. And if, as you start to work to connect these different scales, you can see how these are all really one big scale and start to use this entire fretboard when you're improvising um, or if you're learning the solo, you can see, oh, it's just part of this mode. I see that makes sense. Now I can learn it quickly and I can remember it easier. So you can do things like this. Just Right? All the way up and down, just free, freely flowing. Wow. Freely flowing through all of that. So, um, I hope you learned something from that. Uh, if you want to take a lesson, and I can, we can definitely explore this more and uh, go through this slower. But i um, glad you uh, were able to watch the video, and feel free to watch it again. Just slow it down, um, push pause at some of those different spots, and you'll be able to learn those modes and be doing some cool solos in no time.